it's such a big thing, it's such a unique thing. Only 87 people in the whole world have finished this race. And so, you know, just every, I'm, I'm looking for, forward to every single part of it. I'm also, you know, apprehensive. I think the Southern Ocean is gonna be terrifying. There are gonna be bits that are gonna push me harder, further than, you know, I ever thought I was capable, but I, I just can't wait. I can't wait to do any of it. <laughs>about the Vendée Globe race is that uh, it's three months of really hardcore performance for me and from the boat and so I need to make sure the boat is as strong as possible. It's it's interesting so a day is obviously it's a 24-hour period but but it doesn't matter to me whether it's dark or light I, I still have a set amount of things to do. So uh, you can probably see by the state of me I'm quite tired. Um, the last 24 hours, I guess, really, have been really, really difficult for me. I have felt awful. And so even when things seem really, really hard, when you feel like the whole world's against you, you know, when you think you can't find a solution, then there's, there's no other option. You can't go anywhere else. And so, you know, I think that, that always is that stops you from indulging in any sort of self-pity or anything like that because you know if you want things to get better then you have to make them better. So sometimes then I do feel a little bit lonely but not that often but I think you know the really important thing to remember is there is a, a big difference between alone and being lonely. I love what I do. I mean I really love it. It makes me gives me so much energy, it makes me so happy. I'm utterly privileged to be able to race boats like this. I chose to be here and I chose to do this and I am lucky to do it. And actually, you know, it's hard times, they pass. They always pass. And, and the good times are way better than the hard times.